The Pink. Today we have a book named The Pink Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, there lived a kind-hearted girl named Elizabeth. Elizabeth had rosy cheeks, eyes as bright as stars, and a smile that could light up even the darkest of night. One day, as Elizabeth wandered through the forest collecting wildflowers, she stumbled upon a magical grove hidden deep within the trees. In the center of the grove stood a majestic pink rose bush, its petals glistening in the sunlight like delicate pink silk. Enchanted by the beauty of the rose bush, Elizabeth approached it with wonder in her eyes. She reached out to touch the velvety petals when suddenly a soft voice spoke from behind the bush. Hello, dear child, the voice said. I am the pink fairy, guardian of this enchanted grove. What brings you to my humble abode? Elizabeth's eyes widened with surprise. But she curtsied politely and replied, I'm Elizabeth, and I'm just admiring the beauty of your rosebud. It's the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. The pink fairy smiled warmly and beckoned Elizabeth closer. You have a kind heart, Elizabeth, and a pure spirit. For that, I shall grant you a wish. What is it that your heart desires? Elizabeth thought for a moment, her mind swirling with possibilities. Then she smiled and said, I wish for all the children in the kingdom to be as happy as I am right now. The pink fairy's eyes sparkled with delight. Your wish is a noble one, dear Elizabeth. Then I shall grant it with a single touch of my magic wand. With a wave of her wand, the pink fairy showered the entire kingdom with a shimmering pink light. And in an instant, laughter filled the air and smiles spread from one end of the kingdom to the other. However, as days passed, Elizabeth noticed that not all was well in the kingdom. Some children were still sad and lonely, their hearts heavy with worry. Determined to help, Elizabeth sought the advice of the wise old owl, who lived on the outskirts of the forest. The owl listened intently to Elizabeth's concerns and nodded sagely. Ah, dear Elizabeth, the owl said, happiness is not something that can be granted by magic alone. It must come from within, nurtured by love, kindness, and friendship. Inspired by the owl's words, Elizabeth set out to spread happiness throughout the kingdom. She organized games and picnics, sang songs, and told stories to children in need. Slowly but surely, the sadness began to lift, replaced by smiles and laughter. And so, with a little help from her friends and the wisdom of the wise old owl, Elizabeth learned that true happiness comes not from wishes granted by magic, but from the love and kindness we share with one another. And from that day forward, the land of pink flourished, a beacon of joy and friendship for all who dwelled within its borders. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.